Can't find love? Hmm. That day is over. With Just Eight Numbers, we can reveal all your secrets to sex and love. We call it Secrets of Birthdays, the Love and Lust Report. Find out the secret to your heart at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello, my bulls, and welcome now to Thursday. Well, sunny nesting and needing some nurturing today for the Taurus as we have a full moon in Leo, pulling a full dose of emotional energy into your self-nurturing side. So depending on where you are, this could go to either side of the moon. If you are in a good place to self-nurture, you could feel really good and comforted and really uh, feel uh, like life is grand. Or if you have not been taking good care of yourself or you haven't had your nutrition up or you're needing some affection, today could go to the dark side of the moon. But really today is about release. Remember, a full moon is an opposition. The sun is in the last stages of Aquarius. It's a conjuncting Mars, making everything very aggressive. And it's conjuncting Neptune, making the universe trying to pull us up to our highest potential. So it's a tug of war between your aspects and your thoughts on your career and the legacy you want to leave, lead and your actual need for nurturing and affection. Today is a day for releasing anything in your career or legacy or promises that keep you from nurturing yourself. That's the lesson of the day. So let it go and let it flow. And don't hold on to the past. Don't hold on to anything but what is most spiritually important to you, says the sun conjuncting Neptune. So things might be high anxiety at work or it may be difficult to go to work today. Realize self-nurturing is key to your happiness in this full moon. And this is the most powerful self-nurturing full moon of the year for Tauruses. So this is the one time in the year where you need mothering more than any other time in the given year. So if you've got a mother that will nurture you, take advantage of that. Now, Mercury does show that there will be some breakthrough understanding in the way you look at your career in the next day and a half. And in some regards, I think this is what the whole transit was about. Mercury got behind with the retrograde and it's finally catching up, which means we're finally starting to figure out what the hell has this transit been about. I know myself, it's been difficult to keep it clear. I'm just reading the planets like I see it, but in my own life, I'm kind of going, what does this mean? What does this mean with that? I think Mercury is going to finally start to reveal what this is all about in the next day or so. And it's Thursday. We have Sadiqa Salter's Renegade Aromatherapist going live today. She's going to take a little tangent and teach us about deep breathing and the power of deep breathing in meditation. This goes back to Buddhism and yoga and many civilizations have used deep breathing as a calming agent. Considering you're self-nurturing, you might start with deep breathing and watch The Renegade Aromatherapist. Sadiqa is live everywhere, Soul Garden Streams. All right, Taurus, that's all I have for Thursday. Tomorrow we do go over the hill now and we start to wrap up this transit. Thank God us for that. Until tomorrow, live, love, be. Soul Garden.